So we're following on on the uh, presentation last week. Again, this is about uh, plotting the spectrum, and this time we're going to plot statistics with the Muse files. So the only difference, that's the same uh, study I built last week. The only difference is I added more subjects, so I didn't have enough subjects, so I added more subjects. That's not really subjects, it's days of recording. So in this case, I have 35 days of recording. So that's quite a lot. That's often what you need to get uh, robust results. And these files were recorded with the Muse, uh, just so you know. So I've already uh, created the design like last week, pre-computed the measure like last week. And I'm going to plot the channel measures. And I have my four channels. I'm going to select AF57 uh, uh, and uh, actually I have to I have to recompute here so uh, recompute and click spherical interpolation power spectrum so it's recomputing everything it's done plot channel measures uh, AF8 and now I already have the significance uh, because I selected it so basically what we did last week is we didn't have any statistical significance so that's the stat button here so this is unchecked by default so when it's unchecked doesn't compute statistics and if I do this this is basically what we got last week so here I have two state meditation and normal and you can see the spectrum is lower in one condition compared to the other. Now if I want to compute the statistics uh, like last week I would press compute first independent variable statistics and uh, you would check this checkbox here by default it's called exact that would be the default for you and then plot spectrum and that's what shows up and so uh, what you would want to do after that is you want to put a threshold on the uh, statistics so we want to change here for 0 0.05 so it's exactly the same as the other tutorial and now plot spectrum and now we see it underneath here whatever is uh, significant zero point five it was in there it was not it was five no, it's not zero point five zero point zero five sorry And then you can see this region seems to be if it seems to be difference in these regions, which means that the power in between 25 and 45 hertz is significantly different in one condition compared to the other. So that means that if we're doing this experiment again, this would be reproducible. So again, this was done with the Muse. This is why I insisted that you do lots of data recording here. Uh, I had a total of 35 days. I didn't select them all because some of the data was bad. But basically that's what you get uh, with this kind of uh, uh, this kind of data. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, I put this screen capture here. This is the frequency range. So when you look at the uh, power spectrum basically you look in these regions that's theta, this blue, this region that's alpha. So if one curve is above the other, you can say this is significant in the alpha frequency band. If this is difference in this region, you can say this is significance in the beta frequency band, and this is difference in this region, you can say this is significant in the gamma frequency band. So in our case, if I go back here, plot spectrum. 
we're in the so beta stops about 30 so we have a little bit of beta stick difference here but it's mostly in gamma so you would see okay gamma starts at 40 so it's high beta low gamma uh, significance that's how we would say uh, this looks like and then based on literature we can interpret these results that's it